Hi, everybody, and welcome to Spa Babies, presented by Stone Street. I'm Dan Ullman, along with Nicole Russo. Let's take a look at our Spa Baby event for Sunday, August the 18th, stakes action at the spa. Race number seven, five and a half furlongs on the Mellon Turf Course. It's the Bolton Landing for two-year-old fillies. A little bit of everything in here, Nicole. We've got a European import in your morning line favorite, the number two, Mighty Eriu. We have a Saratoga Maiden winner in the number eight, Abiento, some shippers, and also some first-time turf runners it's really sort of a nice handicapping puzzle well that's what i was going to say we really have a little bit of everything looking at it you have uh, horses from overseas you have freshman sires you have established sires you have horses switching surfaces one of the favorites in here is a, a, a maiden although against strong competition i think this is really one of those fun turf sprints that's a fun uh puzzle to figure out Let's start things off with the number one, Icona Mama, a debut winner over the synthetic surface at Presque Isle Downs in late July, a $75,000 filly by Maximus Mischief. She breezed a furlong in 10 seconds flat. And although Maximus Mischief doesn't have the greatest record with first turf runners, the fact that Icona Mama won on the synthetic makes me think that she'll handle the turf just fine. And boy, was her damn a racehorse. She won 14 times. Yeah, absolutely. You look at a record like that, it's just, you know, wow, some horses don't even run 14 times in their careers. I really expected Maximus Mischief, a very good juvenile himself and among the leading freshman sires last year, to be a little bit more versatile because, of course, his sire into Mischief can get you a grade one horse on either turf or dirt himself. That being said, this one obviously did win on, on the synthetic, although she's stepping way up in class here. The number two is Mighty Eriu, a $31,000 weanling, a $16,000 yearling by Inns of Court, who was a pretty good turf sprinter overseas. After this one hit the board in her debut, she was purchased privately and then ran a good second in the Queen Mary stakes while still a maiden at Royal Ascot. In that race, she was at the back of the pack on the stand side, was able to squeeze through with a clear run on the rail, but it's saying something when you finish second in a 24-horse field. Absolutely. And against that likes of competition that you see at Royal Ascot, I think she will appreciate as she makes her first start here in the U.S. for Brendan Walsh, likely firmer turf and likely a better pace in front of her, which can be a characteristic of American racing. And certainly Flavian Pratt, who's having a terrific summer in Saratoga, can help her work out the trip that she wants. After that good performance in the Queen Mary, it didn't break so well in the Duchess of Cambridge, but still ran on evenly. That was another group stake. The three is Dream Girl. This is one of our first time turf runners by Motown. $65,000 April two-year-old purchase. The dam was fast and she's a half to Metropolitan Mile winner be Jersey. Yeah, I have to a Met Mile winner by Sire, who was a graded performer on both the dirt and turf himself, and who has been pretty versatile as a stallion so far. Of course, Uncle Mo, the Motown Sire, could get you everything from a good turf spreader at Golden Pale through a Belmont Stakes winner. Now, Dream Girl, before kind of her non effort in the Schuylerville against stiff competition, won her made it on the dirt at Churchill Downs, which we often talk about that track being kind to turf type horses. You look at horses like Animal Kingdom, who won the Kentucky Derby. Dulahan and Patio Prado, both of whom were on the board in the Derby. Well, all of them were also grade one type performers on the turf or on synthetic. So th that's, you know, some evidence of how that track can often play. So I think horses moving from the Churchill dirt onto turf are sometimes sneaky good propositions. And a similar form angle with the four, Viggy Dahl. She was a debut winner going five eighths of a mile at Churchill Downs. She then ran in the Schuylerville, was actually the favorite in that race and she showed her customary big early speed maybe just went a little bit too fast while facing one of the better two-year-old fillies in the country in the queen's mg how fast is viggy doll she breezed a nine and change before selling for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in march she's by the hottest first crop sire out there in vacoma she's going to show speed whether it's dirt or turf Absolutely. And, you know, I expect the Vacomas to be a little bit versatile as well, being from that candy ride sire line. Vacoma class leading 14 winners in this freshman class. They are rockets. They have speed. Biggie Doll's Good Breeze that you mentioned at the Ocala sale was on a synthetic track. And as you said, a similar profile to Dream Girl coming out of a maiden win at Churchill before that Schuylerville effort. 
Jose Ortiz aboard for Steve Asmussen. The five is me, Governor, going out for Carlos David. This is a daughter of The Factor, the damn one routing on the dirt. But there's turf and synthetic on the bottom of this pedigree. And she ran pretty well in her turf debut, her third lifetime start, Monmouth's Colleen Stakes. She made a brief bid before tiring, but should benefit from the experience. Absolutely. And, you know, ran third in the Colleen, as you said, the winner was very well regarded and just sort of got away from them all. But she was only narrowly beaten for second while tiring. You keep going back through her starts and she beat a next out Saratoga maiden winner in her own maiden win in her second career start. Uh, a good mix of turf and uh, sprint ability in this family. The Six Lady Orient looks like a very strong contender for trainer Tom Amos and red hot rider Tyler Gaffalione, a $170,000 yearling by Liam's Map. Strong family. The dam's a half to Are You Kidding Me? It was just a rock solid runner up in Canada. I love the professionalism this filly showed in her debut at Ellis Park. Ellis Park is a very underrated maiden program for two year olds, especially on turf. And this filly sat off the pace and came home like a mature individual. Absolutely. And I love what you said about that Ellis program being underrated because, uh, you know, a lot of trainers are keeping top two-year-olds down there right now and then, you know, shipping them around and picking their stake spots. And I think that's what Kentucky-based trainer Tom Amos has done here and that this is a really quality filly. Uh, you know, you mentioned some of that route and class ability on the bottom side of the page. The dirt winning dam is by a very versatile sire herself in Ghost Sapper. And Liam's map, a dirt winner who has become a good turf sire in his own right, siring good turf horses like Colonel Liam. The number seven yesterday took all the money for her career debut for trainer George Weaver. Keep in mind that was a two-turn race. It's so difficult to win going two turns as a first-time starter. Yesterday showed good tactical speed, sat a good trip, and just came up tired in the stretch. Uh, it's often difficult to cut back three furlongs and win, but with a pedigree like this, it's possible for a horse like yesterday. After all, she's a half to Roses for Deborah, who's an exceptional turf sprinter. Half to an exceptional turf sprinter and by a sire who can get you an exceptional turf sprinter, American Pharaoh, we've talked a lot about his prowess on both turf and dirt. I mean, he had a good turf sprinter in his first crop and Breeders' Cup winner four-wheel drive. I think yesterday will be much fitter and can move forward in her second start. And you mentioned her tactical speed on debut. I think she'll be able to sit a nice trip under Irad Ortiz Jr. breaking toward the outside of this field. The number eight, Abiento, goes out for Mark Cassie. Just an amazing meet that Mark's having with these two-year-olds. And Abiento, one of his winners, scoring over course and distance in the second lifetime start. Just a strong pedigree all the way around by not this time. A half-sister to Mr. Hustle, who was a multiple stakes winning sprinter on various surfaces. Let's watch Abiento's debut. She rallied from off the pace, and she was pre-game to score in the stretch with a very respectable speed figure. Yeah, and you mentioned people who are having a terrific Saratoga meet, Mark Cassie among them, and Dylan Davis, who has been aboard this filly in both of her previous starts among them. He's having the best Saratoga meet of his career right now, really just going lights out. Right. Uh, horses 9 through 11 are entered for main track only. We want this race to be on the turf. So let's take a look at our top selections for our two-year-old feature on Sunday. You're going with Viggy Dahl, first time turf, but you mentioned the angles, debut winner at Churchill Downs, and the horse has speed. Yeah, and I was really intrigued by both of these horses moving from dirt at Churchill Downs to turf here. And ultimately, I preferred Viggy Dahl between the two of them because her maiden win at Churchill has developed into a key race. And she's got some higher buyer speed figures. So I, I like her on top, but I like where you're going with Abiento. I think both of these horses drawn toward the outside of this field yesterday. And Abiento will have the ability to set a nice tactical trip. I want to definitely use Abiento in any sort of multiple race wagers, along with my top selection, the two mighty Eriu. My main concern is we've seen it in the past. Sometimes these European imports just don't break very well. And it's tough to have a bad first step in a turf sprint and make up ground against quality runners. So it's imperative for Pratt to get her out of the gate. 4728 for Nicole, 2856 for me. It's the Bolton Landing. It's our Sunday Spa Baby event. And we are presented by Stone Street.